everyone and my name is Priya Gupta and today I'll be showing you guys how to do the point shoot recognizer app in Thunkable. So for the link of the Thunkable it is x.thunkable.com and then if you've done some projects it will show the slash projects. So now you need to go to the create new app and you need to try type the name of it. So this is point shoot rec Nice. So now uh, we are done with uh, doing the name. Now let's start with um, doing the coding and everything to make it the key lab. So now we need to, um, for the, you will only have one screen. You need to take the background color for whatever you want. I'm going to take this light color. Then um, you need to, uh, the next, yeah, we're done with this part. Now we will add the components. So first we will have button label. Like, I mean, not button label, just label. I mean button. And then image component from here. And last but not least for the, we are right now doing the visible components. So yeah. Uh, and we will finally have label component, which is already there. So we have label, then image, and then um, the button. So first for the label, it should be, um, so let the label stay for now. So then you can see what you're doing. So we will take a black, like a really dark color, like black, and then the size could be 20, the font size, 20, and hmm, the bottom margin should be 10 probably and we are done with this one uh, and if you want you can even do the text line to the center so then it's at the middle and yeah so now we need to do the image component so for the image component there should not be any picture right now because when you're going to take a um, picture that time that's uh, when the image component will be used so for the absolute size for the height part, it should be 300. So then um, the picture is big. And then for the width, it should be probably 250. And now we're done with this part. You can do the bottom margin also. So I'll put it to 10, um, just to make it a little, you know, balanced. And yeah, we're done with this part. Now we need to do the button. So the, for the button, we should write, the text should be um, click here. Uh, okay, and now the text color, you can choose whatever you want. Um, I, I think white is okay. Background color, let's pick um, some dark green. No, I think light green is better. So then if it's light green, if it's light colors, I need to take a dark font. So we'll just take um, uh, black. Now we will, we're done with that part. Now we don't need to set any margin because there is no other component underneath that component. So we are just gonna write the radius 10 probably. The font is bold and the, uh, um, the button should be raised. And now you need to get the invisible component. So if you scroll down, or you can even type if you want, but I'm just gonna scroll down and get it. So you need to get, um, for the invisible components, you need to get um, image recognizer. If you put it on this part where it shows like the phone, then it will come at the bottom so you don't need to do anything else. So yeah, we need uh, the, um, the image recognizer and also we uh, we need the camera and finally we need text to speech um, text to speech block and we're just gonna that's also an invisible component so we have three invisible components so default language I'll keep English um, now we we'll go to the camera part camera there uh, nothing should be there and image recognizer um there should be nothing even over here now we need to do the coding so but first of all um you need to keep the uh, label in the empty string i forgot to do that part but make sure to do that and now we will go to the block section 
so over here we have to um first uh, go to the um uh, the button one which is over here and now we need to take the when button and click you need to do um so now we have to go to um camera and we need to take the call camera and take a photo uh and so first of all what we will do over here after this part photo all of these are okay now we have to put something over here so um what we will do is we have to um we have to go to the um image one and we need to uh like we need to set the image one's picture to uh the photo so we are gonna just put it over here right in and we're gonna take photo oh one second um and we have to go to the photo one second Okay, where did the option go? One second. Okay. Oh wait, is this the one? No wait, one second. Um, we just take the photo from here. Um, now what we will do is we need to uh, go to the image recognizer and now we need to get the call image recognizers upload. So we're just going to put it over here underneath the green place where it shows about image one's picture to take photo. And now we, okay, this is okay. And then we are, we need over here, we need to take photo again. From the top part over here now these are okay um, now we need to um, go to the label one um, and now we need to sorry, label. Um, this we need to take this block and we need to put it over here oh sorry one second okay and now we need to take the description block and we need to put it over here now what we need to do is we need to go to text to speech block and we need to go to call um call text to speeches speak text uh, hello so over here you have to take the description in the hello part and yeah so we have this part and then we have this part where it shows to take the photo um and these errors and everything and then we have this to take a photo and then we need to place the image photo over here and then we need to have the, these things and then we have this and then we have this okay so now we are done with this app so let's test it uh, test this out so we are we have to go to the preview sometimes it takes some time to load um okay that's good so now um, I have to turn on my camera. Uh, I have to turn off my camera for the the zoom. So I have to um, like so then we can take a picture of myself. So yeah. okay, um, but now you can see me over here. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you so much for. Um, listening and i hope you enjoyed uh, make sure to practice this bye